Hello, everybody. I'm Eustace Farmer, and I'm recording live on location down at Manning's Agricultural Limited once again. And Manning's would like to welcome you down here, all you awesome farmers in the area of the West Coast of the UK, or from anywhere in the world for that matter. He wants to give back to the community. So how is he going to do that? Well, two awesome trucks have been put up for sale down here at Manning's, and we're going to show them to you today in hopes that it'll get you excited to come on down here. So let's go ahead and have a look at these little cream puffs right after this. Warning, warning, Eustace Farmer has initiated gaming simulation sequence. Prepare to have fun. So here's those two beauties I was talking about. The one on the right is a Scania Agro truck, R730. And the owner of this truck is Alert Modification. The author is Jericho. So if you would like to add a little kind of gangster bling to your farm, this could be the truck for you. And then over on the left, we have the Volvo FH16750SWB. And this is by GTX Inerti and Ambels are the authors. Both of these trucks have very unique features. So let's go ahead and let's hop inside the store real quick and get the particulars out of the way. Go ahead and bring up the tablet here. The Scania R730 Agro Truck. At its base price, the maintenance fee is 520 pounds per day. It's got a 390 kilowatt slash 530 horsepower requirement and it's 49 miles per hour top speed. Now Manning's is happy to go ahead and drop some other motors in there for you for an extra fee. So for 35,000 pounds extra, you can get a 620 horsepower and that's going to get you up to 55 miles an hour at $536 a day maintenance. And then we have the 730 horsepower and that's going to bring it up to 52,000 pounds for that changeover. And it's going to get you $548 a day maintenance, but a 62 miles per hour top speed. You have your choice of a standard attacher in the front or a front hydraulic three-point linkage with PTO. And then you have your choice of colors. We're happy to paint it any color to suit your farming business logo theme needs. The Volvo FH16750 SWB, $20 a day maintenance at its base price, 552 kilowatts of power slash 750 horsepower, 49 mile per hour top speed, and it comes with a whole host of features. Now, right out the door as is, it's 120,000 pounds, and it's a fine price, and there's one extra feature in here that really makes this unique, and I think it's justifiable for the price. So the attachers, standard and back attacher, speed limiter. So if you're not buying the truck for yourself and you have employees drive it, you can have a governor installed on the engine or not. Your choice of colors is always even a nice bright pink for the ladies in the house. I'll add your girl. And then the wheel setup. You have the standard steel wheels, and then you have an optional chrome for an additional $3,000. Standard design, all lights options, or just the beacon light bar, spotlight bar. The design, the standard, interactive control. So with all the top end options on this truck, it's going to cost you $128,000 out the door. It's going to get you up to 80 mile an hour top speed at $20 a day maintenance. Wow, what a difference from the Scania. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the Scania first. Got a very nice detailed and luxurious interior done in a charcoal gray on light gray with a nice cool mint accent green stripe down the seat to give it that racy look. And you got a nice light up Griffin Scania logo sign in the back there just to give you that extra mood lighting when you're sleeping. And of course, you've got the curtains. So let's have a look on the outside here. So there's our rear attachers, and it's got the nice white letter tires. And there's our three-point linkage in front with PTO. And it comes with a nice bull bar on there for you. Sometimes you may not want to use your pretty painted bull bar to be bullying around things. So what do you do? Let's put this three-point linkage to work, shall we? How about a nice safety bumper to do all your pushing around needs? There you go. Now you can preserve your fog lights in the front of your truck 
and you can move things around that just don't want to move on their own. <laughs> Do you live in an area with a lot of snow? Or maybe you're just a little short-handed on tractors and you want to get that silage pushed to the back of the bunker? Well, here you go. You can hook it up with your Scania. No trouble at all. So Giants has a tow bar in their shop, and we're not here to review it today, but I just wanted to let you see that it does indeed work with this tow bar. Now the tow bar itself, when you go to buy this, there's different options for designs on the pole itself. You can change the colors and the pattern of the stripes. If you use this stripe pattern here, which is the standard stripe pattern, you're going to notice, if I was to pick it up, you're going to notice that the striping has a gap on the right side. That is the side that hooks to the vehicle that you would like to tow. So that's a very easy way to know which end of the tow bar to back up to. And there you go. Nice and pretty. But how about the fifth wheel? Let's have a look and see if it hooks up to the trailers properly, shall we? Sits pretty as a picture, folks. So it's got great maneuverability, and that's one thing that's great about the European cab over design versus the conventional trucks with a nose like you find in America a great deal is you can really get into some tight spaces. So before we hop out of this Scania as you see here it comes with a full complement of lights so you can light up any field or any yard any place and I dare say you might want to have the garden hose handy because you might start a fire with these bad boys. And it's got a funny little grumble when it stops too. So here's the interior of our Volvo. And as you see, it's done in a nice charcoal with black accents. And it's got that nice mood lighting with the Volvo emblem back there. Give you a little extra bling. And if we hold down our right shift button, we're going to bring up a whole host of features here. And as you see, you just hover over it. Now mirrors locked and unlocked. I will be honest, I really don't see what that does. I hear something clickety clicking, but nothing seems to act with that so not too sure about that one here's our button to roll down our windows as there is one on the other side as well you can put the armrests up for your passengers and here's to activate your cruise control and here's to decrease and increase your cruise controls that'll turn your ignition on and off turn on your warning lights and this turns on and off your lights. Down over here we have a cabin light. So if it's getting a little dark and you're doing some paperwork in here, there you go. This will turn on the rear work lights right up top there. And the reverse lights also function as rear working lights. And that button is right here. It does have a very nice sunroof, so you get a little daylight or moonlight in here. And this is where you turn your beacons on and off. So now comes the interesting feature that I want to show you. So I hooked it up to the crop trailer because sometimes you have trucks that do not accommodate bulky attachments on the backs or the front of trailers and they can get hung up on your cab. So this one as it stands, it has plenty of space. But let's say you have something with a large reefer on the back or maybe a bulkier ladder and it prevents the truck from turning in either direction. The maker of this truck has solved this problem quite ingeniously. If you hit number 9 on your keypad, not your number row but your keypad, watch down here at the fifth wheel. It moves the fifth wheel back and it'll bring it forward. So that'll help you get through some of those tight country roads. Here's the button on your panel inside. To make that happen and again full degrees of rotation i dare say even a bit better than the scania so again as i was saying before if you use this particular tow bar available in the giants in-game mod hub it's an awesome tow bar but as you see if you pick some of the other design options it's going to be a guessing game at which end is going to go to the vehicle that's doing the pulling so that's why i say use the standard and choose a color that makes you happy. There you go. So overall, between the two trucks, I like the look of the Scania a bit better when you're in a mood to be flashy. But this truck is also very good looking and it has a lot of really good features that will come in handy. So if I was to gravitate to either one of them, well, who am I fooling? I'm lying. I'm I would get them both and that's why I did. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Two great trucks. Come on down to Manning's. Have a look at them, take a little test drive, 
have a cup of coffee and a biscuit on us. We'd love to have you. But if you just simply can't make it down here, that's okay too. There's going to be links down in the description so you can go ahead and pick these trucks up anytime you like. So I hope this has helped you out. And until we meet again, my friends, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now.